how do I change the keyboard of my Lenovo ThinkPad T480 it was one question that kept coming over and over and again in my most viral video right here. So alright, right here I've got a Lenovo ThinkPad T480 and in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can actually change the keyboard. Uh, this question got asked the most and I felt like this was a good opportunity for me to actually address it. It's pretty much a very, very simple process. It's easy to, uh, to carry out on the Lenovo ThinkPad T480. The beautiful thing is that you don't have to remove and I must say that this is one thing that also makes the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 to be very unique. Unlike so many other laptops you have out there, you don't necessarily have to take out all the screws to be able to get into the keyboard all you have to do is just to take out two screws right here at the back i'm going to be doing everything together and hopefully this helps you to change your lenovo thinkpad keyboard and this question will finally be put to rest so all you need to do this is just a screwdriver be careful not to uh, use a very big screwdriver otherwise you might end up ruining the screws at the back of your thinkpad so if you've got something like this you can actually go ahead and do this whole process with me it's very easy like i said so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, take out the first screw right here on the lenovo thinkpad you just have to be aware that even though you unscrewed the screwdriver it stays still in place on the back panel of your thinkpad like i said you need not have to fight with opening this thing on my last video you can actually take a look at how difficult it is to remove the back cover of the lenovo thinkpad t480 but in this video like i said we don't need to do all that now that these two screws are already removed so you want to go ahead and look for a little object like this i bought this off of amazon and it has been very very helpful in that it's uh, it helps me to get into places where my fingers cannot really get into so you're going to be getting something like this and you're going to gently pull back the uh, the keyboard just like that you can already see it moving and if you feel like it's not moving then be sure that you haven't properly removed the screws uh, behind. So if you push it, you can see that it's already going back from this side. I'm also going to do the same here. Give it a push and you already see that it's coming out. So, but at this point, you don't have to drag the keyboard out because if you look, there are some connecting, uh, connecting cables right here. So avoid dragging the keyboard. So what you can easily do is just to flip the keyboard over like this and in this way you can have um, a very good access to the connecting cables which we are going to be taking out shortly so if you've done this process up to this point this is exactly how it's going to look like so with this same tool i'm going to carefully lift up the connector that's the first one and then also carefully lift up the second connector So now that those two connectors have been lifted up, now you see you can easily uh, take out your ThinkPad keyboard. All right. So this is it's as easy as this. That's exactly how it looks. I've been taking out a lot of keyboards. I must say that the Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard is really uh, easy to take out. This is one thing that actually attracts me to this laptop. So if you have this same problem, let's say perhaps you bought a keyboard off of eBay or Amazon and you just realize that you have a different language. You don't need to uh, worry about that. You don't have to be stressed. You can easily take out the two screws behind and take out your keyboard. So I'm hoping that you already bought yourself the keyboard of your choice either on Amazon, on eBay or on Hardware Money. The link is in the description below. But that doesn't matter. The main thing that matters is that you've got yourself an original Lenovo ThinkPad in this case, a T480 keyboard. There are so many other keyboards out there in the market, but if you want to save yourself some unnecessary stress, I really do advise you to buy the original Lenovo keyboard in this way. You can save yourself all the hassles of using the wrong keyboard for your Lenovo ThinkPad T480. All right, now that we have our keyboard, we're going to go ahead and install it right now on our ThinkPad. And this is a pretty much uh, easy process. Just in the same way we took care in bringing out the keyboard, we're also going to take care in making sure that the connectors go uh, exactly back 
into where it's supposed to be. So what I normally like to do is to also align it exactly the way it was when I removed it. So in this way, the cables are already almost in there. And then thereafter, I'm going to flip the keyboard over. So to do that, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and there's the first connect connecting cable in. And then I'm going to push this connector down. You hear the little clip. In this way, you are sure that the connector is locked properly in place. And then I'm going to do the same for the other one, which is right here. Sometimes it might take a little bit time, but like I said, just take your time. Do it carefully. Don't rush it. It could be a little bit tricky, but just take your time. You're ultimately going to get it in. All right. That's it. Cool. Now that the two keyboard cables are already uh, connected, it should normally look uh, like that. I hope you can really see this. It's, yeah, exactly. You, it should look like that. See, the cables are connected, the clips are down, and the cables are not partially connected. Everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the uh, keyboard gently, exactly like this. So I kind of found that, that if I start from the top, it's much, uh, much easier. So I'm just going to push this in. Then I have to push, only simply push the keyboard down and make sure that all the clips are sitting exactly where it should. This process is not something you should rush. Just uh, take it easy, but if you gently slide it in, it should normally uh, just go in and uh, flush right in. In this way, you can then go ahead and lock the two screws that you initially opened behind. Just give it uh, uh, some turns. Also be careful not to overlock it so that you don't break anything. So when you see that it's already locked, you can easily uh, feel that. So in this way, you can in any case, go ahead and try out your ThinkPad to be sure that everything is exactly how it should be. That was it with the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 Keyboard Exchange. Like I said, this is an entirely easy process. Only do make sure that you've bought the original Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard. Also, do make sure that you take great care in the process. If you've taken great care, you should normally have an easy ride. Hopefully, this video helps you. If it did, go ahead and click on the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Until I see you again, peace.